Uh, I'm just going to be straight out. I'm just going to keep doing what I do. Uh, despite it being... Just despite illegal. whatever the city says. I'm no problem. <laughs> you can edit that out. <laughs> The Airbnb part is is a uh, a dramatic part of my income. I'm a working musician. Um, it it pays, but doesn't pay a whole hell of a lot. Um, and so the Airbnb supplements that income. So I'm in Santa Monica, California, where city council just pass an ordinance that would drastically reduce the amount of Airbnb rentals here in the city. The problem is this has now cut the direct financial lifeline for so many people here in the city who depend on Airbnb for their mortgage, for their rent, and even for groceries. Well, uh, this is the backyard. Um, these, uh, most of these places were built in 1906 and uh, nothing has been developed since, so you're kind of looking at original Santa Monica architecture and, you know, unturned soil, as it were, uh, which I really love and am really proud of, and rather than tear it down, which is the advice I've been given by, you know, financial people, they say tear it down, build an apartment building, you know, tear it down, build something, build condos. I don't want to tear it down. I absolutely love these beach shacks. And uh, and it's not fair that the city is cracking down on Airbnb stuff and short-term tenancy where they're not cracking down on the things that really make life hard in Santa Monica. Santa Monica City Council is really at war with, with its own citizens on, on this matter. My name is Katherine Healy. Uh, what brought me on today is that I am an Airbnb host um, and I'm a big supporter of Airbnb. Um, Airbnb is responsible for getting me out of debt about 20 grand. I paid off all my debt in a year and three months. It could have taken me 20 years of minimum payments. Um, I went through a divorce and um, you know it was a struggle for me as a I'm a single 43 year old woman to pay rent all my utilities life is just tough I basically have three jobs to make uh, ends meet and Airbnb is one of them so I sporadically rent out to um, to help supplement my income um, and it's been great because I don't have to put things on credit cards like groceries and things to live um, and I can actually for the first time like save up a little more rather than being a month-to-month -month person. Item 7A, vacation rentals and home sharing. Mayor Pro Tem Vasquez? Yes. Councilmember Davis? Yes. Councilmember Himmelrich? Yes. Councilmember Winter? Yes. Councilmember O'Day? Yes. Councilmember O'Connor? Yes. And Mayor McKim? Yes, and that ordinance is adopted on second reading by a unanimous vote of the city council with all members present. And we move on to item 7B. It's, it's very anti-resident and very pro-commercial. Now with this legislation regarding short-term uh, tenants, um, that again is in favor of commercial interests. They sugarcoat it with the whole, they sugarcoat it with the whole, hey, we're pro-resident, we don't want to lose, you know, uh, low-income housing, you know, you know that, that's BS. That it does nothing for the residents. What it does is help the hotels. It helps the hotels get more business because Airbnb and, and, and like websites are taking away from their business. If you're living in Santa Monica, even without special financial difficulties, you're paying a lot in rent, probably. You're paying a lot for, for, your, for your mortgage if you own. Airbnb helps you defray some of those expenses. So the people that are mostly airbnb we're not rich. We're literally having to create different ways of making money because you can't just have one job anymore. We have to hustle. This is another way of doing it. And so they're really devastating me by doing this. They're probably going to be responsible for me having to leave my apartment of 19 years. This is far from what you would call a single family dwelling. This is a studio. And uh, so again, it's a small space, not really taking away from low income residential rentals. Mm -hmm. This is very much a hotel room type of situation. Here's the bathroom, again, very small. And very much a vacation type of place. Any residents that were opposed to the short-term tenants, uh, vacation property rentals, they're concerned about maintaining low-income housing. This will never be low-income housing. This will never be affordable housing. 